Okay, so we have a point in rectangular coordinates and we have to convert it to a spherical coordinates. So let's work this out um, carefully. So the most important thing is the formulas. So the formulas to convert rectangular to spherical are as follows. We have that rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Then we have that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. And last we have that phi is equal to the arc cosine of, and then it's z, all divided by the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. You'll notice that the denominator of this expression is just rho, so uh, books just typically tend to write it this way with the x and the y and the z, so you can kind of see exactly uh, what goes in there. Okay, and we're given this in rectangular, so we already know uh, our x, our y, and our z. The final answer, by the way, um, should have the form rho theta phi. Right? That's the form of a point in spherical coordinates. So rho theta phi. So rho is equal to the square root of, so we're just going to square each piece here. So negative 8 squared plus negative 8 squared plus, and then the square root of 19 quantity squared. So this will be the square root of, so 64 plus 64 plus 19. So rho is equal to the square root of, so if you put this in your calculator or you add it up in your head, uh, I'm getting 147. So oftentimes when you get this, you try to simplify it. You know, if you can't do it, it's no big deal. Um, I believe this is 49 times 3. And so the square root of 49 is 7. So this is 7 square root of 3. So we have rho. To figure out the tangent of theta, the first thing we should always try to do at least is use the formula. So it's y over x. So it's negative 8 over negative 8. So the tangent of theta is 1. So a common mistake here would be for someone to say, oh, okay, so theta is pi over 4. Uh, that would be an incorrect answer. Even though theta does satisfy this equation, pi over 4 does work, it is the wrong answer. And the reason is you should always draw a picture when you're doing these problems. So let's draw a picture. There's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. And you want to plot your x and your y in this plane. So negative 8, negative 8 is going to be over here in quadrant 3. So you know your angle must be a multiple of pi over 4 because the tangent of that angle is 1. And so you say, okay, which multiple is it? Well, this is pi, and you can think of pi as 4 pi over 4. So when we're down here in quadrant 3, you're traveling another pi over 4 radians. So this angle is going to be 5 pi over 4. So the correct answer in this problem is 5 pi over 4. And this is extremely important. Uh, it's probably the hardest thing in this problem. So don't forget to draw a pick when you're finding theta. Very key. The last piece is to find phi. So phi is equal to the arc cosine of z, which is the square root of 19, over this expression here. But we talked about this. This is just rho. So this is 7 square root of 3. And you can just leave it like that. That's perfectly OK. Uh, no problems there. And so now we're done. We just have to write our answer in the correct form. So remember, the form is rho theta phi. 
So this will be rho, which is 7 square root of 3. Theta, which is 5 pi over 4. And phi, which is the arc cosine of the square root of 19 over 7 times the square root of 3. What a beautiful number. A beautiful ordered triple that is. So again, just be extra cautious in this step here. Always plot your ordered pairs in the Cartesian plane when you're finding theta. I hope this video has been helpful.